So if, if you've got a limited sales function, this, this is my advice. Uh, I wouldn't hire salespeople. Um, if you're trying to scale with a very, very limited sales function, and if it's, you're doing the sales, so if you're doing the sales, um, you can't focus on the overall picture of the business, the growth of the business. So, so here's, here's some thoughts. If you've got somebody you can deal with inquiries and can uh, uh, you know, quote people and process orders, and they're a bit, you know, they're customer service friendly, they can answer questions, I would beef them up in terms of training them so that they can, they can really help the customers as they make their inbound inquiries. But let me, let me share something I did with um, a company a few years ago. Um, so I, I was working with them for uh, about two years uh, half a million turnover, no external, no go-getting salesperson um, at all. Um, it, they had people who could receive inquiries, they could you know, quote them, and they could follow up, but nothing else. So they're doing half a million turnover, and um, my job is to get them from half a million to two million. Now, here comes a problem. You hire salespeople to do that job. Guess what happens? It takes them two years to bed themselves in, get to know things and all that kind of stuff. And then, of course, you've got ever increasing targets to get them to. So you've got a manpower issue, you've got a heavy cost issue and you've got to get ever increasing goals and targets and, and what have you. So and of course, the thing with a lot of salespeople, salespeople work in cycles. Uh, if you find a good one, they can be with you for 10, 15 years. But generally speaking, salespeople move around in, in three to four year cycles, some even two. So uh, half a million turnover to two million turnover, and I've got two years to do it. So um, if an inquiry comes in, they can deal with it, but they can't go get it. So, so I devised a, a long-term two-year plan to, to literally market the hell out of their market. Now, there was, there's a lot of caveats I could put in there, and it was, you know, some of the messages were very straightforward, very simple, um, but we did it. So uh, two years, day in, day out, day in, day out. And, and there is one of the biggest issues I come across with people. There's no consistency for any length of time in what they're doing. So they start doing something for a week, week or two, three, three weeks, a month or two, and then they chop and change. So you're never getting the impact and real the real power of marketing is that if you do it day in, day out, uh, over a cycle of a couple of years, you really, it really does pay off. So we did this two years, day in, day out, day in, day out. If, and, you know, later, if we want to go through what we actually did, I'll walk you through it. Year one, they doubled. Year two, they just shy of doubled again. I think they got to about 1.8 million. Um, and that's from in two year period, going from half a million to 1.8 million in two years so it is possible but you have to really think about this as a bigger picture thing you can't just think about this as a campaign that's going to happen for three months and you can't treat it as a resource uh, uh you know uh, that it's going to happen in a couple of months um what did it cost um it cost about 150 grand so 150 grand for two years to go from half a million to 1.8 million. Is it worth it? Of course it is, of course.